Hi, I'm Marissa King. I'm a Senior Communications Advisor with Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro, and I'm here with Scott Crosby. He's the Manager, Office of Asset Management. That's right. So Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? As you said, I'm the Manager, Office of Asset Management. In that role, uh, my accountability is to ensure we demonstrate excellence in how we manage our assets right across our entire asset base for Nalcorp Hydro on our other lines of business that we extract maximum value for the customer. That's really what it comes down to through the full asset life cycle. So can you explain to me how Hydro maintains all of its assets? We have a lot of assets. We have poles, we have transmission lines, we have generating facilities, generators, a lot of different assets. So how do we maintain all of that? Okay. It's very complicated and it's very simple. I'll use an analogy. While Hydro and, and, and Nelco, we're asset intensive. We have many, many, many assets. It's perhaps best to think about in terms of one asset and just apply that same philosophy right across the entire asset base. We have a best practice uh, asset management framework that is consistently applied throughout our organization. If you use a car as an example, it's important that you understand what that vehicle is supposed to do for how long you need it to, to work for you. You don't necessarily want to have a second car sitting there in standby mode for you. So you want to do the right work at the right time. That comes down to doing the right preventive maintenance programs, the right condition inspections. In the context of a car, preventive maintenance would be things like your oil changes, your air filter changes, spark plug changes, your inspections are checking your tire depth for example, and checking your oil levels, things along those lines. Also, as your car ages, you want to do a condition assessment. And that's where you get a mechanic to go underneath your car and poke and prod and pull. And they come back to you and say, okay, here's the condition of the major, co major components, major systems. Here's what you likely have to spend next year, the next two years, the next three years. And you can make a decision then on whether to refurbish that vehicle or if you want to replace it. You take that philosophy and scale it up across our asset base, that's how we manage our assets. That's the process side. It ultimately comes down to people and having experienced, knowledgeable, and engaged people who can execute. 